Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Bruce, aka Haunted Husband, and welcome to Sea Horizon. Sea Horizon is a roguelite, turn-based RPG. You can explore the world by choosing different characters. Each journey can be unique and legendary, but don't forget the darkness is lurking. Choose your path wisely because every single step is essential. I'd like to thank the people over at 45 Studio uh, for hooking me up with a copy of Sea Horizon. Uh, there'll be a link to it in the description below. Go pick it up for yourself. It is an early access, but you can buy it right now for $14.99 according to the Steam page. We will definitely be doing the tutorial because it has a little bit for the King vibes to it. At least that's how I look at it. But I could be completely, completely wrong. And I love For the King. This guy's like, a newcomer. It's been a while since the very last one. Don't worry. Don't get too nervous. I'll take you step by step to learn what you... Okay, enough of that voice. Well, you should know. Once you've memorized the basics, you have nothing to fear in your quest. Of course, provided that you listen to me. All right, pay attention to the food on top of the screen. It's that bar right there. Gotcha. This is limited on your exploration. A low food may inflict negative effects in the battle, and food zero will result in death. Our HP, we have 45 out of 55. Yeah, I know it goes to zero, okay. In some cases, I would tell you the location of the goal. These guns will stay on the map at the screen to prevent you from getting lost. There's a camp not far away. Head there first. So, is there... Is it just food? Is there a dice roll? I guess it's just movement based upon food. Which is nice. Where there's a campfire, there will be someone manning a barbecue. If you get hungry during the adventure, keep an eye out for campfires close by. Buy up some delicious food. Sometimes you have to make a choice. For example, deciding how much to spend on a meal is something that has to be considered during an adventure. No matter the end result, you will have to pay in order to get something in return. You can always receive kindness from others during your quest. For example, you can spend a little money in exchange for a nice meal. So I have 50 gold, or 10 anchor coins. Have a meal and 16 food. Have a meal and 22 food. Currently have 37 food. Oh, so you want me to buy that one? Gotcha. You can get food through certain ways to increase your food. Or you can find friendly campfires. Okay. My apologies. I totally did not notice that you were hurt. But this isn't a big problem. There's a camp ahead that maybe someone can help. I'm hurt? Oh. Avengers often get in trouble. But don't worry. There'll be definitely be someone willing to bandage you up. At a campsite. Of course, don't forget to pay them a little something afterwards. Hopefully the music volume is uh, decent with my voice. Because I didn't get a chance to do any uh, audio checks with this before queuing it up. A group of merchants has always seized an opportunity to earn anchors. It's a good deal to spend some money on potions of good quality. I can heal for 10. There we go. Your injury has been completely healed. Use your anchors wisely during the journey. Let's use them all to fill your stomach and nothing left over. Okay. There's a boat. Now get your butt on board the ship. You need a boat to move around the ocean, and there's always one that's parked right on the shore. If the boat's location is not ideal, you may take longer to route. Treasures, legendary equipment, powerful monsters. They're all waiting for you. Try to reach the last dungeon on the map and begin a new quest. I mean, it does seem very for the king. Except there's no dice rolls. It's all based upon food consumption. Which I don't know if I prefer or not so far. Combat instructions. Oops, I forgot to tell you. Yes, you did. You can run into many monsters as you move around the world. No big deal. You can still take that fight. I 
What a dick. Dude. During battle, a certain number of d dices will automatically roll on each turn. Equipment will determine the number of rolled dices. The rolled dice will be converted into various resources and arranged here in order. This is really the thoughtful design, isn't it? If you say so, brother. So wait a minute, he hit me for 28 and I can hit him for 6. Why well, use these rules to select the skill you want to cast and enemy? Sweet, we got a large iron shield. Read that in the wrong order. I thought we could take them all. Well, I'll just say with here until. Well, I'll just stay with here. Is my brain cracked? Well, I'll just stay with here until here. I don't think that's my brain. The challenges you will face are more than that. But if you listen carefully earlier, I believe you'll be able to solve whatever encounters you with ease. May the odds bless you on your quest. I look forward to hearing your story in the tavern. Yeah, rip brain. So that's the tutorial. Let's see what we got in the skin shop. Take you to the skin shop. Let you lick the skin pop. No, that's not, that's not right. We have an adventurer, we have a wanderer. We have an explorer. Pirate explorer all the way. Love the chef. So I'm not too sure how long an adventure takes, but I will try to uh, do one while we're still streaming. Because I know when me and my wife would play for the king, those games could go hours upon hours. So I'm at least dedicated to give you at least, let's say, 20 minutes of an adventure. Or less, if we die really quickly. You know, let's just do... Uh... Let's just do a dungeon. It's a weird cave. Treasures and challenge. What are you waiting for? This deep cave, no comment, has attracted curious travelers from all around the... Mithrin? It may look safe, but several groups of adventurers have perished within its steps, and the corpses have yet to be found. Sounds like a girl I knew in college. Uh, number of dungeon floors, four floors, dungeon bosses, the... Nethius? Why not? Uh, an adventure. Dylan is always alone, piecing together the memories from long a journey. The Wanderer is born in Nightwood Settlements. Lies a remarkable martial artist. Ricky Musket always stays in a tavern, gets drunk, and dreams about treasure. Let's kung fu this shit. We had to take all of them. Why not? This is the trial of Nethius. I'm probably pronouncing the crap out of that incorrectly, but you know. The cave is deep in the forest of a forsaken archipelago. Before the winter festival, Nethius is always here guarding the offering from Nightwood Settlements for generations. As a guardian of the Nightwood Settlements, it also offers the challenge back to adventurers. Those who are lucky enough to pass its trial will have its rarest blessing, though it never shows mercy to the opportunists who aren't capable of its test. There's a thin line between blessings and death. You think all my pronunciations are on point? I hope so. I'd hate for the developer to watch this and be like, man, that guy 
murdered. What are you standing behind me? Uh, so we can do four damage. We're doing four damage and they're doing 14 damage. That doesn't seem right. Hold on. The me intends to inflict a negative effect on you and attack for 12. So that's 16 damage. Okay. So we get two attack. We get the gang block and we get the heal if we need to. I get three blocking one bullet. So I assume you can be left at the end. Because the way it rotates, I assume that you're going to be left to take 46 freaking damage. So I can deal sandwich and gain one shield. I can do 12 damage and gain 4 HP. Okay, so my thoughts about them only attacking the front character was incorrect because they also attacked the middle character. Good to know. That's a lot of... Somebody tends to attack you for zero damage and use a buff. Uh, they can buff themselves. I just won't watch. So you roll this dice, but you have nothing. Gain four block and one strength if you have no block. So I'm not worried about you. Attack for 15 damage, okay. And that dice is useless for me, thanks for rolling it. What do these bullets do? The next attack deals 1.5 damage, lose one stack when dealing damage. So we definitely want to get all our bullets in first. Deal 22 damage and lose one next turn. I can do 27 damage and not worry about losing anything. Smoked him. That's a lot of attack. You tend on doing 20 damage this turn, huh? And to attack. Jeez. That was just the first battle. That's... Game one if you rolled one or less. So 
So he has an iron sword already, which is 4-1. He has an old musket, which is 5-1. So it's the exact same thing. But you're green. And you're not. Maybe that means something, maybe it doesn't. Uh, choose a skill, okay. We could cause them to taunt, and then we could put all our block onto them. Lose 2 HP, but deal 12 damage. Deal 6 damage, gain 6 blocks if you have a bullet. Deal 8 damage, gain 1 bullet. Hmm. Gain two block, gain additional one block for each. Roll, deal four damage, gain four block. That's intriguing for some reason. Lose up to five block. Lose up to five block, deal two damage for each block you lost. So that could be used for ten. Uh, deal one damage three times, gain five thorns if target has no block. Taunting could work, and it would give us a place to stick all our uh, all our shields onto, because we know they're going to attack. Yeah, let's go with that. There you go. Uh, let's head to this camp because we're hurt kind of bad. I mean, that's where we're trying to head, so. Let's check this out. This poor guy has been dead for some time. Perhaps his corpse holds some useful supplies. Big thank you to his anonymous man for the sacrifice and contributions. So we took damage for that. And gained nothing from it. I don't see us surviving this encounter, so that's kind of interesting. Gain four block, gain one strength if you have no block. Lose two HP, but deal 13 damage. It's just a really bad roll. Let's see. It's It was tempting. I mean, I had to lock at least one of these guys out. And we're going to do 24 damage. Oh, man, that hurt. Oh, it's just... Casually going to be dealing 
45 damage. Don't worry about it. Gain 4 block and gain 1 strength if you have no block. What does strength do for me? Increases your damage by 1. The block is more important. I'd rather get some health. He was going to be dealing 5 damage. So we got two of these. It's tempting. It's super. No, he has a block. And then he's going to give me. Negated his block at least. That's all I can ask for. If I gain one shield, I can go into taunt mode next turn. Actually, I could taunt now if I wanted to. Yeah, he's about to take 45 damage. So he has to go. Deal 4 damage, gain 2 speed. Can't do anything with that, so F me. Didn't get any heal, so we can't pass any healing around. Gain 3 block, gain 1 bullet. I hit the wrong person. I'm an idiot. I can give five block. I can give to myself, which is nice. So I should be able to block all the damage. Oh. She rolled five leaves. Had to, had to, had to, had to. Uh, he's still taunting, so give him as much as we can. Can we do 11 damage? We can do 12. Ooh. Getting three block for each time being overhealed. Set your HP to 30, gain 2 strength at the beginning of one fight. We'll take the armor. I'm sure somebody needs better armor. So you have carper armor. You have leather armor. You have recruits armor. So the high is going to give you healing and attack. That's not you. Could be you. Ooh, treasure. It's a customized shotgun.
We only have 14 gold. Son of a... I mean, that's the way out, right? Uh, mid healing potion, primal explosion potion. Give me that, give me that mid. Can't really afford anything except the healing potion and. We're literally just running to the exit every time. And there's the boss. Who gets the general's armor? Who has the most health? I think the adventurer already has the most health. We have 27 coins. Can we buy anything? Just another healing potion. Don't really need food. Here we go. Let's, let's get bodied. Super hard. I'm expecting like 500 HP. Did not expect a thousand. 500 is where my mind was, but. So with this attack, you're dead and you're dead. I mean, do we go hard? You're putting your money on the boss. That's probably a good bet. Can we get you out of the danger zone? Barely. You're dealing 50 damage. Fifty damage, you say? Um, Now it's just now it's just a matter of pride because we're getting absolutely destroyed here. Um, at least save the person who's going to live the next turn. I mean, why not? Should I really just do this? I 
It's completely... We survived. We live. We all die. So let's just go out with one that's raw. I mean, no one... You have a chance. Of surviving. Alright, it's me and you, Birdo. Yeah, that was... Fights, fights. Yeah, we kind of ran from a lot of fights. Choose a piece of equipment, it will fight with you in the next adventure. I expect those veggies would never get easily, you know. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, that is the horizon. That's a lot of fun. Uh, definitely some For the King elements. I hate to keep comparing it for For the King, but... I mean, it's there. The the looks, the feels, the, the maps, they all have that kind of feel to it. But this is a lot of fun. Um, it came out May 2nd. Once again, it's still in early access. Uh, once again, go pick it for yourself. There'll be a link to it in the description below. It's 15 bucks on Steam. Make sure you're wishlisted if you're a little bit interested at all.